Hello, I hope you're doing well. I am going to be doing a plan with me in the weekly section of my Hobonichi cousin. A little context behind this week. It is actually currently snowing today um, on a Monday and I just decided that we are going to make it a wintry snow theme. So I pulled out some washi tapes and I think I'm gonna do some color coding with my fountain pens. So I typically use the Leonardo fountain pen just with um, the Diatramentis black ink, but I'm gonna also bring in my Pilot Vanishing Point and inside I have it inked with the Robert Oster Atlas Stationers collaboration and this is the Polar Vortex color, which I thought was just so fitting because it is snowing. So um, yeah, let's get started. It is Monday morning, so we have an entire week to plan for. Let me zoom you in just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take off this sticky note. I was making a reminder to myself that I have a wholesale order to do on Saturday. So this is a polka dot washi tape from Simply Gilded. And I think I'm just gonna rip up some pieces and do a little bit of layering. So I want like the edges to be rough, but um, on either side, I'm gonna make it straight. And then this is the um, Winter Critters 2.0 washi tape from my store. I'm just gonna layer this over. I'm kind of having a slow morning because typically I would be going to the gym, but it is snowing pretty hard and I could go still, but I don't feel like it. So instead I uh, just walked on the walking pad for a little bit and did some Pilates, light movement. And then later, I'm gonna go run some errands anyways. So that'll be my movement for the day. Okay, moving on to the sidebar. Last week, I tried this new idea that I had for work tracker. Honestly, I didn't like it very much, um, partially because <laughs> I ended up maxing out most days. So like looking at this, it doesn't really tell me anything. So I think I'm going to go back to my work tracker that I did previously. Um, it worked well for me, so I don't see why I needed to make any changes using my Tombow Fidenoske brush pen. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Friday. Ugh, what is wrong with me? I don't know. Okay. We are just going to rewrite it underneath. In case you didn't watch my video from last week, I went into a little bit of a crazy design marathon and I barely slept. So I'm having a bit of a rough um, Monday morning. And again, I'm going to do a little bit of color coordinating. And whenever I do color coordinating, especially with fountain pen inks, I like to make little swatches on the sidebar just so that in the future when I flip to it or if someone, for example, on Instagram um, asks me which ink that is, then I can just quickly refer to it. I just inked up this pen so it um, blobbed on me at first, but that's okay. Um, also, I don't know if I mentioned, I'm using black to represent my work things and then polar vortex to represent all of my personal things. Oh dear, I realized that my camera cut off, but I don't know where it stopped. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just basically worked on stuff in the morning and then I walked on the walking pad for 30 minutes. That is all. And then I'm gonna go out into the cold and run some errands. I'm gonna use some of these winter mug doodles. I think I'll use this cute little bear. After running errands, I plan on going to my favorite local cafe and doing some reading. I'm currently reading a book called Into Thin Air, which is about the Mount Everest disaster. And I think I'm about 
like 75% through and I'm going to try to finish it today because it is getting real good. So yeah. And then after I come back, I'm going to do some more emails to do some vinyl production. I have been putting it off for a very long time. So I really want to get that done today. And then I need to draft my sneak peek posts. I need to do some tax receipts for, I believe, November, December. Yeah, just November, December. And then I'm going to use one of these Winter Critters Working Movies. So cute. I want to finish the Tulip Fields kit for springtime because I plan on doing a new release maybe next week. We'll see. So even though I finished my quote-unquote design marathon for last week, um, those were for like the bigger projects and events. So I still have a bunch of little things that I need to design. Um, and I plan on finishing that off this week. It's not as big of a pressure though, so not too, not too worried about that. And then my sister's birthday is coming up next week. So I want to maybe spend an hour today just um, making some plans on how to celebrate her and also finishing up her gifts. For the rest of the evening, I will just continue with work. Okay, that should be my day today. Um, moving on to tomorrow. I'm gonna start off the day again with work. Tomorrow it's not supposed to snow, so I'm gonna mark in my workout, an upper body day, and a little bit of cardio. I will probably stop by Save On Foods on my way back. I prefer going to the grocery store multiple times a week and getting little bits of what I need rather than like a huge haul. We are expecting some deliveries tomorrow, some pretty big ones. So I will put down this TCMC sticker and the speech bubble. Okay, so this is all I can really plan for Tuesday because I don't really know what's going to be happening. Um, a few other things on Friday, I believe at 10.45. Let's see. Oh, 10.15. Um, I have a doctor's appointment, which I should mark down or else I'm going to forget. I'm going to put down this I'm okay, I guess, emoji. I have been waiting for this appointment for a very long time, so I'm actually strangely looking forward to it. Cool. And then, as I said, on Saturday, I have a wholesale order that I want to package up. I think on Saturday, I'll go in the afternoon. All right, I think that is all. Um, I will be back later in the week to continue planning. All right, I am back. I have some coffee and I'm ready to take on today. It is currently Tuesday morning. Um, yesterday was a pretty heavy work day, as you can see, about 14 hours, just a little bit tired. Um, I did want to work on the sidebar a little bit. So I have these like reading bucket list stickers there are a few other ones like book haul or like did not finish stuff like that um here i have a finished book and new book which i think i want to put on the sidebar let's use this blue one and this gray one it's super pastel so um even if the colors didn't match perfectly that's fine And I suppose this is personal, so I will use this pen. I have my Goodreads account linked in the description if you want to see what I'm currently reading. Into Thin Air was definitely a 5 out of 5. Okay, moving on to the rest of today. As you can see, I have a lot of work in the afternoon. But um, in the evening, I want to take some time, maybe an hour to continue reorganizing my work drawer because it is 
getting way out of hand. After, din after dinner, I have some finance stuff to do. And then I plan on going to the office. Yes, at like 8 p.m. I do go to the office um, earlier in the day and throughout the days, but a lot of the times I'm going in and out and not really staying there for large chunks of time. So yeah, this evening I definitely want to spend some time there. I have some test products that were sent to me and I'm so excited to test them, obviously, because I might be able to bring them to the shop and they're like, they're like super exciting stuff. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I hate it when people say things like, oh, something's super exciting, but I can't tell you. So I am not gonna be one of those people. Okay, um, moving on to Wednesday. I know for sure that I want to go for a run on Wednesday, probably in the afternoon because it is super cold in the morning here and I do not want to get frostbite. Although ever since reading Into Thin Air, which is about the Mount Everest disaster, I have been a lot more, I guess, a lot more reserved when it comes to complaining about the cold. Tomorrow I have some meal prepping to do. I have these meal prep doodle stickers for my shop, which I haven't had the chance to use yet, so very excited. It is going to be my veggie chili, so I'm going to use this one. I have probably eaten veggie chili for a thousand dinners at least, no exaggeration. And I don't know, like I don't want to toot my own horn, but every time I'm like, Dang, this is good. And I really do look forward to making it every single time. I'm gonna do some more emails and then tomorrow I really want to finish the Tulip Fields kit, which I have, I feel like I've been talking about for like two months now, but um, I'm really enjoying taking my time with this collection. And because I really wanna ensure that I finish it tomorrow, uh, I'm not gonna schedule anything in before my run just so that I'm not like overly ambitious. And then after my run, I will probably do emails again. Every time I am out of the house for a chunk of time, I need to do emails first thing when I come back. I have some file conversions to do tomorrow. I need to follow up with voice term regarding the notebook production and i have some new tiny icons coming out um these are like the tiny icons that i have been loving and you guys have been loving as well it is on washi paper and i have a batch of i don't know maybe like 10 or 12 coming out so i need to do some listing photos i think that is my work evening for tomorrow and I definitely want to get some reading done tomorrow, so I will put down this cute little emoji. Big Swiss is a contemporary fiction, and I haven't read a contemporary fiction book in a while, and it always is so jarring to me when modern things are referenced, like for example, um, COVID or like TikTok. I don't know if it's just me, but I found that to be a little interesting. Okay, and then Thursday is garbage day and we always alternate between recycling and garbage. Okay, last week was recycling, so this week it is garbage day. I always forget. Gonna get a little bit of work done in the morning before heading to the gym. For Thursday, I definitely want to do some sneak peeks. I think I'll do a sneak peek of the washi as well as a sticker sheet. But I haven't decided which one yet. And then I want to do some snail mail prep for the subscription. And then I have some requests for full sheets, which I want to take a look at and see what I want to release for next week. Um, yeah, I think that is... I think that is it for now, and I will be back to continue this. All right, happy Thursday. Currently, we have an Arctic outflow warning, whatever that means. And it's like negative 10 or 14, negative 14, I think, degrees Celsius, which that sounds like fun. 
Um, definitely not going to be running outside today or tomorrow. I think I should be able to finish planning for the rest of the week. I did want to quickly put down a budgeting sticker for next week, Monday at 3, just so I don't forget. I have a, an appointment with someone at the bank. Okay, something else that I want to put down is this I had a good day emoji because yesterday I had a good day. I'm gonna center this actually. Wonderful. Okay, let's actually plan for today. So yesterday I really wanted to finish the Tulip Fields collection but I didn't end up finishing. <laughs> So I, I really need to finish today. I'm going to use this classic vertical emojis washi tape, which is going to be part of the quarter one subscription bundle. And I'm basically going to time block my entire afternoon to finishing this collection because I cannot keep putting it off and tweaking things that don't need to be tweaked. I'm gonna use another winter critters. I think I'll use this like reindeer. All right, and then in the evening, I am going to put down one of these update planner doodles. I update my planners like multiple times a day, so I definitely don't use an update planner sticker every time I update my planner but um, it's kind of more rare and special for me to have like an entire hour or hour and a half dedicated to just updating my planner and doing fun things. Okay, so that is my day today. Most of it's just gonna be designing. Tomorrow, there's still the Arctic outflow thing, so I don't know if I will be going out. I'm gonna start with emails for sure and then finalize my new release list. For now, I will mark in going to the gym. If it's too cold, then I will just skip it and walk on my walking pad or something. Okay, and then I have my appointment tomorrow as well. My big goal for tomorrow is to work on um, my blog thingy. So I have been wanting to develop a like a separate the Coffee Monsters Co. blog that links to our website, like the main website. Um, just because we use Shopify for the website and Shopify's blog feature is terrible. It's very restrictive. I can't even like respond to people's comments or anything like that. So I'm building a separate blog and I hope to be able to post consolidated information and announcements that you guys can subscribe to. Um, I often get, sorry, give me a second, sourdough banana muffins. But anyways, um, I often get people asking like why I don't send newsletters for every like update. I do send newsletters for like big sales like Black Friday or our anniversary sale but I don't typically send them for every little new release. And it's just because I, I just don't like marketing emails. I feel icky doing it. Um, it's very much like a personal thing. So I only send it if it's like a big enough deal to me that I feel like everyone should know. But generally, like I don't like weekly or bi-weekly emails. This is why I feel like having a separate blog that you guys can subscribe to is a lot better than just like emails. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being weird. All right, a very work heavy day tomorrow. Um, for Saturday, this is going to be my long office day. Probably going to be at the office for the entire day. Put down a TCMC sticker. First thing is I need to set up a machine. That should take a few hours and then I'm gonna finish off by doing a wholesale order and then packing whatever other orders that I have. I'm gonna do some emails again and then I'll probably continue working on the blog a little bit more. And then I will reserve the night for reading. 
All right, I think that is all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next week. Bye!